Matt came to both me and Matt Steinman probably a month ago and just said, hey, is this something you guys would be interested in doing? And uh, for me, it was, it was a no-brainer. Like TikTok is really where my business started blowing up. Um, so I got pumped really fast. Like, yeah, I could talk about this for hours today. Feel free to cut me off whenever you need to. Um, but I, I sat down and really started asking the question, what is the, the best possible thing that I could give you in this 10, 15 minutes that I have with you today? Um, and I know we have to cover the basics of what the app is in case you're not familiar with it. You've never used it. You've never seen it before. Um, so I reached out to Jonathan and Matt last night and just asked, hey, guys, what are y'all covering? I don't want to overlap what you're doing, but I'd like to go a little bit different direction because um, we need to hit the how to optimize your profile, how to create a video, how to do calls to action and all the basic functionality. And they told me what they were covering and they're going to kill it. Um, so I said, okay, if y'all are going to go that direction, let me go a little bit of a different direction. And I want to answer the two questions that I get all the time when it comes to TikTok. And then I want to give you guys literally my strategy. This is something that I haven't put out anywhere. And I think it's the most valuable thing I can give to you in the short time I have. So uh, the two questions are this. The first one is, why does TikTok actually matter to your business? As Dave just said, so many people are saying, uh, this app is for kids. This app is uh, just a bunch of dancing. It's my target audience isn't on there. What is this app actually going to do for me? So let me share just a little bit of my story with it. Um, so the first two and a half months I was running my online business, my butt was grinding. Like I was doing everything I knew. I was working probably about like 18 hour days. I remember some nights I was up until 4 a.m., slept on my couch in my office for three hours, got up and kept going. Uh, but I just wasn't seeing many results. I got maybe a couple hundred dollars in sales, but not much. Come January 1st, I had started TikTok. I'd maybe done 10, 15 videos. And I started challenging myself, like what if you could actually sell directly from a TikTok video? So I put out a video on January 6th um, it was selling this digital product that I, I had purchased. And I really was just trying something that I didn't think would work. Um, because at that time, there was no clickable link in the bio. Literally, to sell someone from TikTok, you would have to copy the link or you would have to memorize the link. You would have to close the app, go to the web browser, pull it up, and type in bit.ly backslash whatever the ending is. Um, so in my mind, this was never going to happen. This was impossible. But why not give it a shot? Because you're always testing it as an online marketer. So I tried it. About 11 o'clock at night, made this video, said, hey, if you're interested, here's a link to it, set my phone down, woke up to almost $1,000 from my Stripe account. So this is a guy who hadn't seen maybe 100, 150 bucks over the course of two and a half months, and I just woke up to about $1,000. And at that point, I realized maybe I could sell through this app. So that began uh, when I really started promoting Legendary Marketer as an affiliate through TikTok. There was the day um, where I had, it was between 15 and 20 signups in a single day from this app. So I am a massive believer, whether you're doing affiliate marketing, whether you just want to grow your brand and get your face out there, whether you're doing, I mean, even if you're doing like e-com or something, I don't really care what your business is. I've seen so many different people have success or maybe even driving to YouTube have success by using TikTok that I am a massive believer and proponent. So the first question I always get is why should I do it? What's it actually gonna do for my business? And the second question is what do I post? Um, so this is what I asked if, if I could talk about a little bit today. Uh, I want to give you the exact strategy that I use to create content on TikTok. And I want to make maybe a little bit of a bold promise that I think I can give you a strategy that will allow you to develop to 100 to 150 pieces of content, or at least the idea for your content in the course of about an hour or an hour and a half. I sat down Saturday and tested this out. And I created just under three, 300 content ideas in the course of an hour. Um, so it got me pumped. I think I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. So guys, let me know. The one thing that I'm going to ask of you, if I'm going to give my gold away, the two things I want to ask of you guys is this. First, I need your engagement in the chat. Um, I want you guys to brainstorm with me a little bit because all of our businesses don't look like I need you to be thinking. The second thing is Matt already said, I need to encourage you guys to take notes. Um, I, I want this strategy to start formulating in your brain and it's going to make your time on TikTok significantly easier. So if you're willing to do that, hit that. Just let me know yes right in the comment. Like if you're willing to engage with me and you're willing to take notes, let me know yes right there in the chat. Man, I'm just on the Zoom side and it's blowing up. That's a lot of yeses. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. You're ready. That gets me more excited than I already was. All right, so the first thing I'm going to ask you guys in the chat, wherever you are, even if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay and give me these responses. I want to ask you three questions. I want you to let me know the answers there in the chat. Number one, what's the name of your brand? Whether it's a personal brand and just your name or a business brand, what's the name of your brand? 
what is the mission statement of your business and what is the primary place you are putting out content right now? So answer those three questions for me. What's the name of your brand? What's the mission statement of your business and where is the primary place you are putting out content right now? Blow up the chat with those three. I'll give you all just a second because I know that's going to take just a minute. The name of your brand, your mission statement for your business, and what is the primary place you are putting out content right now? Guys, if y'all don't mind, I'm going to share my screen real quick. I think yeah, Matt said he it. wouldn't mind. So let's see if I can deliver on that ridiculous promise, how to create 100 to 150 content ideas for TikTok, and it'll take you maybe an hour to two hours. All right, so I, I see you coming in here in the chat. Um, so the first step, this is where I want to ask you guys to start taking notes. The first thing that I want to implore you to do is number one, keep the, your mission statement of your business, the focus of what you do on TikTok. 90% or more of what you create on TikTok needs to be in line with your business and the mission of, of who you are, whether it's personal branding or business branding. And the reason I say this is because you're about to see content from me, from Matt, from Dom and from Jonathan. And if you just watch us, you might just start saying, oh, I just want to copy the content they're doing, which I don't care. You're welcome to, but your business and my business probably look very different. So I'm going to implore you guys to, to when we're going through this whole strategy, think about what is the primary focus of my business and keep that mission statement in front of you the entire time. Let me move this chat over so I can make sure I can see it. Sorry, guys, give me just a second so I can... All right, so you've already shared um, where you're putting out the majority of your content. The second thing I wanna ask you guys is to list three types of content you are putting out, three categories of content. Go ahead and throw that in the chat for me. What are three types or three um, categories of content you are putting out? And I'm gonna show you guys uh, a little bit of what I'm talking about here. So I told you I sat down and came up with a ton of TikTok ideas the other day. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm talking about uh, name list three categories there in the chat of types of content you put out. So I made this the other day, the types of content that I'm going to produce for TikTok. So I want to do financial education content. So that is um, budgeting, that's debt prevention, that is stocks, that is real estate, whatever. So financial education is one category. Make money online is another category. I'm a huge fan of reselling. Um, so I make a lot of reselling content. Uh, as was already mentioned, I'm a youth pastor and a lot of my business is around uh, Christians achieving financial freedom. So putting out content about what does the Bible say about money, business quotes, business advice, real estate, duets, and then some other stuff as well. And I even did a series, a 20 day, 20 day countdown of the best side hustles. So see, these are some of the categories of content that I had. So if you haven't already, drop it there in the, um, in the chat. What are the types or the categories of content that you are currently producing. So the three categories of content you are currently producing. The third step is going to be to turn the content you have already created into TikTok ideas. Now, for most of you, this is 5, 10, 15, 20 pieces of content that you're ready to produce today on TikTok because you've already been putting out content. So take your favorite Facebook posts, take your favorite YouTube videos, take your favorite uh, Instagram posts or blog posts, take that idea and prepare that as a TikTok. I mean, for most of you, that's anywhere from five to 50 pieces of content right there in the outset. So once you've done that, go ahead and uh, under those categories you've already created, start making a note of those content ideas that you have already created. Now, I want to ask you this. Um, if I was sitting down and brainstorming with you one-on-one -on -one right now, I would ask you this question. Do you know at least three competitors in your niche um, like, could you list right now, yes or no in the chat, could you list three competitors who are in your niche? Let me know in the chat. Could you list three competitors by name who are people who are within your niche? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so a lot of you can, a few of you can't. Um, well, this is gonna be a big part of the strategy, understanding people who are creating content in those same categories that you are. So I, I wanna start with this. Um, there is a massive debate on TikTok about stealing content. Uh, but to me, there's really two categories. You can put out creative content or you can put out, um, I forgot the name of educational content. 
So when it comes to educational content, facts are facts. Uh, there's just not like, if I'm making a video about how to make money with rev.com, there's only so much you can do when it comes to creation. So when it comes to educational content, you want to put your voice and your spin on it, but I don't really want to like do something crazy unique when it comes to creative content. Uh, that's where I'm not a huge fan of straight stealing people's stuff. Um, but we're going to take ideas of what people are doing and implement it within our own business. So I, I thought about doing a screen share here, but truthfully, it's just going to take more time. And I, I want to let these guys get, um, I know they have a ton to talk about. Um, so when you come to the app, if you need to find your competitors, all you need to do is search hashtags. And Jonathan's going to talk more about hashtags, but say your category of content is make money online. You literally search make money online in the search bar. And then you start following all these people who are doing make money online content. Um, maybe you want to do personal finance, personal finance hashtag, and then start following all the people who are creating that same type of content. So we're going to find our competitors here on TikTok, and we're going to follow them and we're going to watch their videos. So again, I thought it'd be cool to do this by showing my phone, um, but it's just super laggy when I do that. So I've implanted some of my competitors straight into this PowerPoint. Uh, so this idea of following your competitor, competitors, one of my competitors is a guy by the name of Humphrey Yang. Um, now, early on, we were doing very similar content. Uh, now he's kind of gone and he does a lot of different categories. But look at this page right here. On this page, uh, I can immediately tell you about four of these videos that fall within the categories that I wanna talk about. Um, he does one on taxes on stocks. That's within personal finance and talking about money. So that's one that I would love to do. How Airbnb will affect rental prices. That's within one of my categories. So that's a topic that I would talk about. Hey, Jake. Um, yes, sir. What we're, what we're seeing is your Evernote still. Is that what we're supposed to be seeing? Sorry, let me jump back. No worries. <laughs> I, appreciate I just wanted that. to double check. All right, let's jump back to the PowerPoint. Cool. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, all good. All right. Yep. So those were the points I was putting out and I'll be back to this page in just a second. So here's Humphrey Yang. Um, and just looking at this page, I can tell you four content ideas uh, that I would, I would immediately implement into my business. So um, Taco Bell, not one of my categories, not a video I need to watch. How much a VHS tape uh, costs to own today? Not one of my categories. I'm not going to look at this one, but let's take this video taxes on stocks. And what I'm looking to do is just to take the idea and then to make a note of it. If you bought 100 shares of Apple last week, that's a weekly low of $38.25. And then all of a sudden, four days later, they closed off and you had a four days later, you make profit, and then all of a sudden, you make the same To me, that's all I need. As soon as I see those words, capital gains tax, I'm making a note that I'm going to do a video on capital gains tax, or maybe this is a possibility of a video I will do. Uh, some other examples. This is a guy. Uh, who has incredible uh, business and marketing content that he puts out. Um, so just looking through this page on his profile without looking at a single video, I can tell you um, some of these videos just don't apply to me. The ones about um, free vector and graphics. It's not one of my categories. Um, free images, videos, and music, not one of my categories. Um, but those marketing hack videos he does, I love talking about marketing strategies. So these are some that I'm going to watch and I'm going to make a note of just the idea of what he's talking about. So I'll watch uh, the free Instagram hashtag tool. And as soon as he mentions the tool, I'll take that tool and make a note of it on my Evernote document. Here's another one. Um, this guy uses a strategy of kind of like a whiteboard and shows you what he's doing on his whiteboard. So he's a really easy one to get ideas from. Um, he talks about McDonald's upsell. So like McDonald's funnel. That's an awesome idea that I could talk about. Um, and again, this is the strategy becomes very simple. Like looking at these pages, just from these screenshots alone, I could give you 10, 15, 20 content ideas alone in the course of like five minutes. So if you begin to do this for an hour, guys, it's not a stretch to get 100, 115 content ideas. But here's where it gets serious to me because uh, a lot of you use your competitors to get content ideas. That's not new. And a lot of you are saying, Jake, okay, that's a waste of time. I'm doing that anyways. But here's where this idea becomes unique with TikTok. So you've taken this idea, but instead of that idea being one specific video, I'm going to argue that it should be two. That you take this singular TikTok idea and that you create that idea into two separate videos. So for example, I'll go back to rev.com. Maybe for my first video, 
I take my phone, I point it at my computer screen and I say, you're going to go to rev.com. You're going to click this and this and this, and this is going to be the result. And then I take my phone and I walk outside and I get some good scenery behind me. I do more of like a talking head video. And here's why this is interesting. Because on average on TikTok, even the people who follow you, even the people who love your content will only see one out of seven of your videos. Think about that. People who love your content will only see one out of seven of your videos. Go to Gary V's page and you will see about three topics and about a hundred videos on those three topics, gratitude, empathy, and kindness. It's literally the same content because he recognizes that only he, you might only see one or two pieces of content out of 10, 15, or 20 posts that he makes. So I've taken this one piece of content. So say we've gone through the strategy that we just talked about. We looked at our competitors. We came up with 50 pieces of content in the course of an hour. Well, now we're going to take that 50 pieces of content and create it in two different formats and two different styles. So now we have a hundred, but here's what I'm going to suggest to take that even one step farther is use those two videos that you've created as a split test. So a split test simply means that I'm going to post the first video today. I'm going to post the second video in about two weeks. And then two weeks later, I'm going to see which one performed the best. I'm going to save that video and then I'm going to repost it. Again, because people are only seeing one out of seven videos you post and reposting the, your videos is a super normal thing on TikTok. So if you use that strategy, you create 50 people or you have 50 content ideas, you double those content ideas and make them into two separate videos. And then you split test those two videos. One piece of content or one content idea turns into three. 50 content ideas turn into 150. So as you get started on the app, as you start thinking about strategies, you're going to come up with a lot more ideas that you want to create. But this can become kind of just your vault of never ending content for when you run out of ideas. So all that being said, I'll pass it over. The last thing I want to say um, is whether from this suggestion or whether from uh, anything you get out of this video, let me encourage you. Like if you make your very first video within the next 24 hours, let me um, ask you guys to go down into the comments tag me at Jake for three, just because I would love to watch your first video. I would love um, to like it, to comment on it, to give you a little bit of engagement boost in the very beginning and just to encourage you guys in any way I can. So do me that favor, tag me at Jake for three in your very first video. And I'd love to check it out. Thanks God for the opportunity to share that.